guys, I'm Bethany. And I'm Kristen. And this is Looking for the Middle. Welcome to another couch cast in season three. It's our first couch cast in season three. Oh, you're right. Welcome to the first couch cast in season three. We can't <laughs> count. Are we ready to pick it, though? We are ready. Is it your Let's turn or mine? See. It's mine. Okay. I really don't know whose turn it is, but I already picked one, so I'm going with it. <laughs> I have it upside down. All right. Okay. Let's, let's work on that. Oh, this is fun. Okay. What do you do with the little annoying habits of your significant other? Ooh. Fix them. Uh, fix them. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It depends on what they are. That is true. Like, if he smacks his food and she's with his mouth open, I'm going to be like, honey, I really, really like you. Babe. I would also really, really like it if you closed your mouth when you ate. <laughs> I, I think, though, some of them... You just straight up tell them. Mm-hmm. If it's just a little annoying thing, be like, oh my word, that drives me crazy. Well, I think about like Melanie. Y'all know Melanie by now. If you don't know who Melanie is, Melanie is Bethany's little sister and my best friend. We've been best friends since we were 12. Mm-hmm. And there are several things I do that drive Melanie crazy. For instance, biting my nails. Oh, me too. Or and she just straight up calls you oh, on totally. it. Oh, totally. Smacking my gum, which when I don't realize I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah, but can you chew that any louder? Yes, I'll like tap my <laughs> fingers. She's very keenly aware of little like ticks uh-huh. and things that people have. And she'll just be like, Kristen, stop. And I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. But we're best it's friends. So like... I know it's like, I know she's not being annoying. It's just, oh, this is bothering her. Okay. Yeah, I think... The degree to which you can just say this to people, like someone you're dating, is proportionate to the length of time you have been dating. For sure. Like she was saying, it's her best friend saying that. She knows she's not attacking her character. She's like, okay, yeah, I'll stop. Yeah. Same thing with your boyfriend. If you've been dating, be like, stop doing that. Yeah. If you're on a first date, though, don't tell him to stop, I don't know, smacking his food. Cracking his knuckles. Yeah. I think, though, too, there's a balance that you have to find because... If you wait too long, you're in why didn't you tell me territory. (laughs) That's very true. I didn't even think about that. So find that sweet spot and attack. Yes. (laughs) No, I'm joking. Like, Like, I'm trying to think of some other examples as far as like. I think I know what I have. That's like, I don't, it's not an annoying habit I have, but it drives me crazy when other people do. But there's a reason. I cannot stand the sound of people chewing ice. Really? Can't handle it. How How do you not know this about me? I didn't know this. Oh, I can't handle it. But the re- like, my teeth are super sensitive. Uh, and so literally, when other people are, like, chewing ice, it causes me literal pain. Okay. So I have no problem telling people. Oh. Please stop. You gotta stop. Which, if it's causing you pain. That's what I'm saying. I'm not just being that's nitpicky. Fair. No. It's... I think that's part of it. If you're just being nitpicky. Yeah. You gotta work. You gotta get over yeah. some of that, If you've too. got, like, 18 of these, <laughs> yeah. you probably need to do some self-reflection. Yeah. But if it's just, you know, little... You've got one or two little pet peeves that drive you crazy. And that may even come up well, as, like, a fun question when you're starting exactly off. exactly what I was gonna like, say. You know, what's your biggest pet peeve? Oh, my gosh. I hate when people bite their nails. I always ask guys that when I'm getting to know them. Yeah. All, for that reason. So you're aware. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a fine... And just... Do it in love. Don't do it when you're irritated. Yeah. That's, I mean. And you unless, don't have to say something every single time no, either. Just be like, and this is where, as with most criticism, I like to say, use the compliment sandwich. You know? <laughs> yeah. Say, hey, babe, you know, I just think you're so great. But you know what? It really drives me crazy when you pop your knuckles. So if you would stop, I, that would just really mean a lot to me. <laughs> You know I love you, right? Okay, thanks. This Bye. is why it takes Kristen 38 <laughs> minutes to compose a text message. We were literally just having this conversation, so side fact about our lives, since y'all apparently like to know what our regular everyday lives are like. Um, I was responding to a uh, message from someone that was kind of awkward, and I sat there for, what, 10 minutes trying to At draft least. a three-sentence response, and Bethany's like, just say this. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, like, you're more direct than me. I wouldn't say it like that because I'm not direct. And then we yeah. went back and forth and I was semi-direct. I was more direct than I normally would be. Yeah. I have very long explanations when I have to say <laughs> um, things to people that may not come across the best way. Well, my, my recommendation for this text response was just say, okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> that didn't happen. No, it was not an oh, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> It was not an okay, cool moment for me. No. But anyways, 
I'm trying and to think. reeling it back in. Yes, reeling it back in. This is going to be my attempt to make you feel bad for wondering this. But be glad you have somebody that you're this close with that gives you things that drive you crazy. That's such a good point. And I know that that's the most cliche thing ever, but... I'm not with anybody right now, so the only annoying habits I have to deal with are mine. <laughs> so I'm sitting here I'd thinking, much like, rather deal with someone I would love to deal with somebody else's. There's a level of comfortability and just intimacy yeah. that comes from knowing these little things about someone. That is so true. And so the fact that you're that close with the person that you're dating, that you can pick up on these things and you can tease each other about them, whatever, that's something to be grateful for. And you just hit the nail on the head for what I was going to say next. Tease them about them. Mm -hmm. Don't be rude. Mm -hmm. Like, make it a joke. Yeah. Um, and, well, and this is not a significant other, but going back to the ice chewing thing, my brother chews his ice all the time. And it's a joke now. Like, he'll do it and I'll be like, Steve. <laughs> and he, like, spits all of his ice back into the cup. I mean, it's like a joke. And I was like, I'm sorry. I don't I'm even sorry. have to say anything. Right. And so, but we joke about it. It's yeah. not this, why are you doing that? You know it bothers me. Don't take it personally, I guess, too. Is That's what I'm trying to point. really get at mm -hmm. is this is a habit someone has most likely. Or actually, I think, did the question say annoying habits? Hold on. Let's look. Let's look. Annoying habits. Yes. So we're not talking about something someone did one time and you're calling them on it. This is a habit they have. So they've probably been doing it way longer than they've been with you. You can't sit there and assume that every time someone pops their knuckles, every time someone chews their ice, every time someone, I don't know, stacks books on a table the way you don't like. I'm grasping at straws here. Right. I have no idea. Don't take that as a personal assault, mm -hmm. <laughs> as a personal thing against you. They didn't crack their knuckles because they really wanted to show you. No. It didn't even cross their mind. No. So show some grace. Yeah. Gently remind them. Be like, hey, babe, remember we talked about this? I'm being really passive aggressive. That yeah, that horrible. sounded very passive aggressive. <laughs> Remember when we... That was very demeaning. I yeah. don't, so don't do that. <laughs> Examples that of what idea. not to do. But yeah, it's not some personal slight against you that they're trying to accomplish. No. So don't make it a bigger deal than it is. And who knows, maybe you can just get over it. Yeah. I guess that's your first question <laughs> is ask yourself, can I get over this? Yeah. And after some legitimate, sincere soul searching... If you just cannot, yeah. if you just can't even, right. then address it. Yeah. Well, and you can even ask like, hey, is this something I can help you break? <laughs> just kidding. That's passive. <laughs> that's 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 don't, don't do, do that. that. Don't do that. <laughs> One thing I'll say, going back to the teasing thing that I've done before, and it was kind of a way for me to flirt while, yeah, like he was If you can make whatever. it a flirtation, yeah. good job. Where he would like... He'd shake his leg. We'd be sitting on the couch and he'd be like shaking his leg. I'd be like, oh my God. So I'd like put my hand uh -huh. on his knee and kind of like squeeze his knee a couple yeah. times and like wink at him. And he'd be like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it'd just be this cute little like, yeah. Hey, remember? Uh huh. Remember? Please stop. The yeah. couch is shaking. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, just keep it lighthearted. Try to figure out if you can put up with it. And if you can't, be kind. And patient and gracious in your approach to try to get him to stop. Yeah. Be like, hey, this really bothers me. But be like, I know there's got to be things about me that really bother you too. So let's yeah. just talk about it. Yeah. Let's put what it all out in the open. Within reason. Let's not make a list of like 48 things. <laughs> let's just cap it at like three. <laughs> we'll work on the others later. <laughs> three per month. <laughs> a three month? Per month. <laughs> three per six months. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my gosh. You get what we're saying. Yeah. You get the idea. Yeah. But so. overall, just be, just keep it in perspective. Yeah. This is not the end of the world. Nobody is going to be perfect. No one is going to quit their habits immediately. And no one is going to never do anything that annoys you. No. So. If, and if that's the worst thing you have to deal with. That you got it pretty good. Yep. So. Good luck with all those annoying habits out there, though. Okay, so I think we've talked about annoying your boyfriend enough. Yep. So, let's wrap this up. Yes. We will see you guys next Wednesday, and we will be talking about seven signs that you are on a good first date. It's gonna and be spoiler alert, doesn't involve any knuckle cracking, <laughs> ice chewing, uh, loud smacking of food. None of that's in any of it. That. So, nope. Come back, join us to find out what they are, and we will see you on Wednesday. But until then, I'm Bethany. And I'm Kristen. And this is Looking for the Middle. Mm -hmm.